Let's make these yarn pumpkins for this fall. All right, so I originally was gonna do this with cardboard, but then I wanted something to stand up. So you can use anything that'll stand up. I have this book from Dollar Tree. I have a styrofoam cube. I have a bottle of Mod Podge. You can use anything. Um, you can use the cardboard like I was originally going to do. You would just have to put something behind it to help it sit up. Um, but this is just real easy. And you can just use things you have around the house. So I originally was going to go with this loop yarn right here because I thought that would make a cute pumpkin. It's nice and fluffy. I usually use this for Christmas decor and DIYs, but um, I thought it would make a cute pumpkin. But I ended up not having enough because that's all I had right there. But I kept going because I thought I could find more. I thought I might have had more around the house, but I didn't but um you just wrap it around so this is anything in this shape you'll just do it this way you can go the other way too for the other sides um to cover that the top of the book there but it's just real easy you just wrap it around and then for the cube you go around and you're going to cover up all of the sides so you want to be as close as possible so that everything is covered if you're using like a wood cube or something like that you can paint underneath it so that if anything does pop through, you won't see that color. So once I got done covering those sides, I just let, tied a knot with the tail that I left on the end there. And then I started going around the other way and then you go around the other way, if that makes sense. Again, just making sure everything is nice and close together. If you're going to be two different ways you can do the corners there because you see I'm not getting the corners you can do the corners while you are going around like that you'll just need some glue or something like that because it really doesn't hold in place that well if that makes sense so you can do the corners like this just going across and going over the corners but you would do that before you did all of the outsides or you can do it like I said with glue whichever way feels better to you, you do that. This one right here, you can, I just want to show you, you can crochet something, you can knit something and put it around it. Kind of like those old school um, toilet paper cozies that people used to do. Um, this one I had already did, so I just cut it open so the back is a little messy. But um, if you were doing it for the piece, you would just crochet it for the piece. And then I bunched it up at the top. I ended up adjusting that because it was too bulky right there in the middle. So I adjusted that. For the stems, I'm going to use these scarecrow hats that I got from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of four, and I think they make cute um, pumpkin stumps. So you can just take off the little pieces that only you can take off the brim. And if you don't want to use the little plaid pieces, those come off too. They are glued. Just you don't want to be too rough because you don't want to tear the whole thing apart. So I use that for all three of the pumpkins. I just took off those pieces and just glued those on, and then I had my little pumpkin stump. And then you can just go ahead and decorate it with faux florals, sea moss, whatever you choose. You can do bows, you can do so many different things. But this is how mine came out. And it's just a fun way to reuse things that you have and just make your own custom pumpkins.